on the Curious Giraffe Show this year. When we read together, I feel so much better. It's easy and simple to do. When we read together, the day just gets better. I love reading stories with you. Welcome back to another episode of the Curious Giraffe Show. Turn the page, and let's say hi to some of the curious giraffes. Hi, hi, hi! I was waiting for my turn. I always love it when it's time for the Curious Giraffe Show. I'm curious. I look around with my eyes. I listen with my great big ears. I stretch up with my long neck and look around. I'm so curious. And I have curious friends too. They're not quite as noisy as I am. But we are good friends. George, come on over a little closer. George is a little shy today. Hi George. Yeah, you want all your new friends to be able to see. And we have a game for those of you at home. If you're watching from day to day, look and see if you can tell who has changed position over there in our new Curious Crew. And I think you're waiting to see my other quiet friend, Tiger. Tiger. I think Tiger's getting a little more comfortable. A little bit. A little bit, she says. Okay, you want to know what's happening today? Of course you do. She, Tiger's curious too. So let's sing our song. Giraffe looked over at Dorothy and said, I'm curious what book and songs you'll share with us today. Dorothy said the greatness chair will lead the way as we share under one big sky. Oh yeah. Share one big sky. Share one big sky. Give the world a big high five. Yeah, we're different and we know it, but we all get along because we can all share and we can all care. a question. Dorothy, Dorothy, that's the same song you sang yesterday. Yes, but it wasn't a mistake. Huh. Well, then why are we doing the same book again? Because we only read part of the book. And even though I said people could get it on their own and read the ending, I had other people saying, but we can't go to the library right now. So I agreed to do a second show about The Greatness Chair by Kathleen Friend. And we're going to find out the end of the story. Yay, 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 yay. I had a hard time sleeping last night wondering how the story ends. Okay, but Jeanette, some people watching might have missed yesterday. So, we're going to review the story quickly. Okay, here's The Greatness Cheer by Kathleen Friend. And it's beautifully written, but we're going to go through the first part. Avi woke up late, he was sleepy, he rolled over, he didn't want to get up. So he started his day with his mother being very impatient and saying, get moving. And his chest felt tight to start the day badly. And he had to run and grab his stuff and run out the door. And even though he tried, he was still last on the bus and his sister teased him and everybody laughed at him and he felt badly. 
But he had wanted to have fun, even though the day had started badly, and so he bounced on the bus and had a good time anyway. But once he was in his classroom, his teacher said, hurry and do your work quietly, and where is your homework? And he had forgotten his homework in such a hurry, and his day was going very badly. But at recess, he went out and ran, felt good running, but then the teacher said, slow down, slow down, you might bump somebody. We don't want you to get hurt or you to hurt anybody. And then at lunchtime, he was late to the lunch table, and he couldn't sit near his good friends, and he sat with kids he didn't know, and he, they didn't pay him any attention. And so he thought, well, at least when I get home, maybe, maybe, Mom or Dad will have a good snack for me. So he hurried home, but he accidentally tracked in mud on the floor, and the first thing his father said was, don't you remember to take off your shoes? And so he was so upset by that time, he just threw down his backpack, kicked off his shoes, and just went off to his room. So... His father followed him to his room and then saw what a mess he left his room. And his father said, clean up your room. And Avi finally said, no, and you're being mean. And so his father said, sit in the time out chair. And he sat in the chair but very quickly fell asleep. And in his dream, he dreamed of a very special chair in the woods. And as he got closer, he saw that there was a special person, and her name was Zoe, and her eyes twinkled. And she welcomed him and said he was just in time. And he said, what? I'm never on time. And she said, you're in time to sit in the greatness chair. But the chair isn't great all by itself, you're the one who makes it great, by the greatness of you. He said, what? I can't think of anything great about me. I had a really, really bad day. And when she heard about his day, she said, oh, but you have the energy. You have good, good energy. When you need, you need, know that you need to move fast, you do it. And then he said about how he had been in trouble for running, and she said, oh, but you have the greatness of enthusiasm and energy. And then he said how he didn't want to get up when the alarm went off, and she said, but that's your body telling you you were tired, so you have good self-care paying attention to your body. And he said, what? Zoe turned everything he said upside down. Or, maybe, was she turning things right side up? So he liked this game, and he suddenly got into it. And he said, you know, when I play my sister's game, even though I don't want to, that's me being kind. She said, yes. And he said, you know, even though I was sad on the bus, I turned it around and had a good time bouncing. So I have the greatness of having fun. She said, yes, you're getting it. And he said, I didn't yell at Dad at first, so I was using some self-control. She said, yes. And Avi felt his greatness growing. So Zoe, this twinkly fairy, gave him some cards to write down those words so he could remember his greatness. And then he woke up, and he was still in the timeout chair. But then he saw a basket like Zoe's basket, and he remembered about writing down the words. So he tried his best to remember his dream and to remember the words that helped him remember his greatness. So now, this is the part we stopped reading yesterday. So I'm going to pick up actually reading the way that Kathleen Friend tells the rest of the story. 
Avi grabbed a paper and pencil and wrote down all the greatness words he could remember from his dream. The afternoon sun shone through the window. Its light and warmth reminded him of how flowers need the sun to grow. Avi was hard at work when he heard his dad walk into the room. What are you doing? I'm sitting in this greatness chair. I love this chair. Do you want to know about my greatness? He told Dad all about the dream and how Zoe helped him see his greatness qualities. Like when I was running too fast on the playground, that was my enthusiasm. And letting Angela play her game, that was my kindness. The greatness chair, what a creative idea. Yeah, Dad, if we shine a light on what is going right, maybe we will all grow like flowers do in the sun. Hmm, I see the greatness of your imagination and resilience, Avi. Avi smiled a real smile. But I don't know what resilience means. That's when you can snap back from a bad day quickly. Avi realized that was true. He turned his very bad day right side up. His father smiled one of those goofy grins and said, let's get mom and practice the greatness chair on her too. Next morning, the alarm rang. Avi sprang out of bed. He wasn't tired at all. He heard mom coming up the stairs and peeking into his room. I see you are already out of bed. That shows the greatness of knowing just what you need to do. Avi felt his heart expand. This was going to be an extraordinary day. Avi smiled the biggest, bestest, greatest smile ever. And the wonderful thing is when he shared about the chair, Everybody wanted a turn. So I thought this was a really nice book, especially for while many of us are staying at home with our families and we sometimes annoy each other and we sometimes forget that we're great. And the wonderful thing about the way that Kathleen wrote her story is that Avi had this dream and then he shared it with his family and everybody could be happy about each other's greatness. So, when I read this book, I felt so good that I made up a little song to go with it. Oh, the greatness chair, I love going there, turns my day around. So I can rebound when I visit there. I get a new point of view and I come away with the truth that is true. And I'll share it with you. Sing it again. Oh, the greatness chair. I love going there. Turns my day around. So I can rebound. the song that came out of my little heart and head after reading the story. But something you might like to do after reading the story 
is to get your own cards and your own markers and make your own word cards. So I liked two of his words. One of them was kindness. So we're going to turn this word kind into the word kindness. And I had fun with the K in the word kindness because I drew a happy face, a smiling face. Because when someone is kind, they smile. And I noticed Avi practicing smiling. And when someone is kind, they wave and say hello. They reach out and say, come on over. So I drew my word with the picture. So you can make yours the way you'd like to. Choose your own words. And they used a really big word in that book. Resilience. So I'm going to show you how to write that. R, r is a R. Re, zil, Okay, R E S I L I E N C E. It's a long word, but it's a very wonderful word. And I thought to help us remember what that means, that I would draw a ball that is bouncing. Okay, resilience. It means you might go down, but you come back up again and you feel better. And I think another greatness word that I know many, many children. I'm going to write the word and show it to you. I think this is a greatness word. I know many, many children who are... Helpful. Helpful. They look around with their curious eyes and ears and they say, how can I help? And this, just like the word kindness, it has the little word help and then full. Just like kindness. Helpful. And here again, maybe... Maybe we'll show some, a helping hand. I'll draw a thumb and the four fingers. Helpful. Okay? So you can make your own basket full of greatness words that you notice about yourself or about others in your family. So, I wanted to repeat some of the songs that we did yesterday since we're finishing the same book. And actually, songs are fun when you know more of the words. And so, let's do Linda McCarthy's Greatness Chair song because hers was so very good. smile come through. Just think of all the little things you did or didn't do and how that chair is great because of you. There is a greatness chair. It helps you be your best. It gives you time to keep the great and toss away the rest. Some people may not know the little things you're going through or how that chair is great because of you. Ditcheridoo and 
I just had to try a greatness of trying hard because I just recently learned this song and for a minute there I couldn't think of the tune. But I just kept concentrating and finally it came back to me so I could teach it to you. But I like that song a lot. Okay. I also like Vincent Noon's song, No One's Gonna Keep Me Down. This is a song about resilience and remembering your greatness. Okay? I don't need my guitar for this one. In fact, I can let Jeanette and Tiger help us do it. Okay, here it goes. Want to try it? Oh, yeah. You ready to try? Okay, here we go. I am smart and I am strong and no one, no one, no one's gonna keep me down. I said no one, no one, no one's gonna keep me down. I am smart and I am strong and I am brave and no one, no one, no one's gonna keep me down. I said, no one, no one, no one's gonna keep me down. I am smart, and I am strong, and I am brave. I tell the truth, and no one, no one, no one's gonna keep me down. I said, no one. No one, no one's gonna keep me down. One more. I am smart, and I am strong, and I am brave. I tell the truth, and I am kind. And no one, no one, no one's gonna keep me down. I said, no one. No one, no one's gonna keep me down. Nobody is gonna keep you down when you remember your greatness. All right, let's do one more song that we did yesterday. And then I wrote this song. And it's how I feel about meeting new people and noticing what's great about them. I see in you a brilliant star. You are so bright to me. I see you with the eyes of my heart and I know what you can be. It's all right there inside you, just waiting did. First of all, Zoe could see his shine, then he saw himself shine, then he saw his father shine, who then shared it with his mother and sister, 
And pretty soon, we can all shine and bring a better light to the world. We can be the sun that shines on each other to help us to grow. Well, thank you for joining us today. And we'll see you soon. But in between, I want to say the words. Okay, okay. Go ahead, Jeanette. Okay, please remind me. Keep singing. Keep looking up. Keep asking questions and never give up. Okay, here we go. Keep singing, keep looking up. Keep asking questions and never give up. Keep singing, keep looking up. Keep asking questions and never give up. See you next time. Bye-bye. I see in you a brilliant star. You are so bright to me. I see you with the eyes of my heart and I know what you can be. It's all right there inside you, just waiting to come out. Oh, take a chance, there's a real good chance when you put aside your doubt. If you don't see it, look again, it's right there.